Hey guys, this is Danx87. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your top down sack bot for your 3D game. Here's one I made earlier. As you can see, everything's in 3D. I'm running around with my person. He also has gradient movement, so the more quickly you move, the animation changes to be appropriate. He also has a stand on the spot spin animation, which allows him to kind of shuffle around so you don't just look like you're spinning on the spot. So for this tutorial, you're going to need an old Little Big Planet 2 level, a game camera, a sack bot, a controllinator, a follower, a tag, an advanced mover. An advanced rotator, character animation tweaker, speed sensor, and rotation sensor. That may seem like a lot, but it is necessary. Don't worry, I'll walk you through it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put down our sack bot. Here's one. He's completely blank. We're going to pick him up and put him against the back wall. The wall is your. The back wall will be your floor. Now we're going to press R1 on our sack bot, which will open up its circuitry. Then we are going to place on a controllinator. In this controllinator settings, we are going to have it as a receiver of the blue receiver. You also want to untick override sack bot, so we don't want it to override. This stops the head tilt. Then the very first thing we're going to do is set up our 3D camera. So go ahead and get a game camera and pop it inside the controllinator. Use the activation of the controllinator as it's on off. Then we're going to change the settings on the camera. So we don't want any player tracking and we want it to be a local space. So yes on local space. Then we are going to change the angle and zoom and I'm going to place it slightly underneath the sack bot and then zoom in to 600%. Once we're there, when we tilt the camera, we get a th full 3D perspective. Don't go too far on the tilt, otherwise you will get a lot of blurring, the shadows won't render properly, and things like that. Okay, so next up we're going to start with our advanced mover. And we're going to place it down inside the controllinator. Maximum speed of 4 is about right. We want it local space, and the acceleration and deceleration to 100%. Then from the up and down on the left stick into the top of the advanced mover, which is its up and down movement. Next up we want our advanced rotator. 200 is a good speed for this movement. And then you want the acceleration and deceleration to be again 100%. This time I'm going to use the right analog stick, left and right, to be able to turn your sack bot. The controls are, however, up to you whether you want the turning to be on the right analog stick or the left analog stick forward and backwards movement is completely up to you next up is for animation I'm going to put all the animation in a separate microchip just for ease of view okay so to start with in the animations we want a speed sensor in fact we want three speed sensors so go ahead and pop down three speed sensors Now our first speed sensor, we want to be our forward movement. So we want a maximum speed of 4. We want it to be forward, up only, and local space. Next we're going to get a character animation tweaker. And pop it next to the up only speed sensor. Now this one is going to be for our walking forward. So I'm just going to use a sack boy one. Medium walk seems to be the best kind of walk for moving forward. Then we want it to be speed scale for the input. Then we are going to attach our first movement speed sensor into the start playing forward on the animation tweaker. Now we need another animation tweaker. This one will be almost identical to the first, so we're going with medium walk again. However, this time we want the animation speed to be minus 100%. It 
this gives a walking backwards look and again we want this to be speed scale on its input now we need to set up our speed sensor to be backwards so again we want it to be 4 and instead of up we want down only and we also want that as local space and then connect those two together for the last speed sensor we want this to be our idle so when we're not moving so we want to set the speed at 0.1 all directions and local space then we are going to get out another animation tweaker and we're going to set that up with idle that also needs to be set to speed scale and those and then hook those two up together the idle speed sensor also needs to be inverted so its output needs to be invert yes next up we're going to do the standing still rotation so as we're standing still we do a little foot shuffle instead of just spinning on the spot for this we're going to use a rotation sensor but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in first a microchip now this is necessary to turn off and on the rotation sensors so first up we're going to get our rotation sensor inside a new microchip I'm going to set the rotation sensor up to 200 as our rotation speed is 200 one of them will be clockwise and the other will be anti-clockwise both at a speed of 200 then we are going to add in a, another character animation tweaker this will be for clockwise and I'm going to use a slow walk because as opposed to it looking like a walk it actually looks more like a shuffle then we also want that to be speed scale and then we are going to attach the clockwise rotation into the animation of that then we are going to copy it but this time its behavior and animation speed will be minus 100 percent and of course it has a speed scale in its input and then we want the anti-clockwise rotation sensor into the playing of that character animation tweaker then from the idle speed sensor we want it to go in to activate the microchip with our rotation sensors in it lastly we need to change all the animation tweakers to override their rotation so for the yaw we want 180 and for the pitch we want 90 and then we need to override every single character animation tweaker we've used to have the same angle including the ones inside the microchip lastly we're going to set up a follower for our character so we're going to use a tag and I'm going to have this as a blue tag and it's going to be tag labeled player then we are going to get any object that has no collisions so I'm using sticker panel because I can also make them invisible so I'm going to place down my sticker panel I'm going to change its opacity to 0% and I'm going to color it green so you can see then I'm going to place on my controllinator and I'm going to have this as the transmitter so this is going to be the blue transmitter which is the opposite to the receiver on the sackbot I'm going to make it slightly wider so I can get into it then I'm going to add in our last piece of logic which is the follower and this will follow the blue tag so I'm going to make the speed around 100 about 15 for the in and out 100% acceleration all the layers and then instead of follow the character I want to follow tag blue player and I'm going to hook that up to be the activated when I'm in the controller later lastly we want to hide our controller later in play mode so we're going to untick that visible in play mode no and now we are done and that is how you make yourself a top down sack bot with a full 3D rotating camera 
He also has gradient speed, so as you slow down or speed up, the appropriate speed of the animation is played. Don't forget, if you want to be the latest and greatest on LittleBigPlanet3, get subscribed to LittleBigPlanet3 Tutorials. Thanks, guys.